Welcome to another computer animation tutorial and what we're going to get into is using the Wick Editor to create a stick figure running animation where he runs and jumps over a couple of cliffs, over a fire pit, and hopefully safely to the other side. And so this is a little mix of uh, frame by frame animating and also utilizing clips inside of the Wick Editor. So um, we could create clips with these little flames and then um, that will be another part of video. I'll just be going over the stick figure jumping part today and then I'll do the fire in another video part. So um, let's go ahead and get started here just talking about uh, basics of the timeline um, using the onion skinning tool and uh, some of the drawing tools to do this kind of uh, basic kind of starter set type of lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and click new and then hit create. So we'll go ahead and start here with the Wick editor and drawing a stick figure. So first thing, or actually first thing we'll want to do is our cliffs. So back that up. Let's take our pencil tool and let's change our size to five. It's a good drawing size to use. Um, I'll actually name this layer cliffs. So click on the layer spot there. Click over here in Inspector and we'll type in Cliffs for this layer and I can see that it's labeled there. Nice feature that helps us keep track of our projects. I'm going to zoom out just a step and then draw this cliff. So kind of make it kind of jagged, uh, pointy. And then this other one over the side here. And don't worry about whatever is drawn outside of the edges of your animation. Um, all that will be clipped and cropped when you export your animation later. And so now we're going to take our fill bucket and change my fill color to a dark gray. And click and click to fill. And there we have our cliffs. So now what I'm thinking I'm going to do is Actually, I'll start by expanding this uh, the cliffs frame to 20 frames so that my cliffs stay there for the duration of my animation, which is only going to be about 20 frames. And then um, what I'll do is actually I might lock this layer so that I don't actually mess with these cliffs anymore. I'm going to create a new layer then. And this layer 2, I'll move it up on top of the cliffs. And layer 2, I will call this stick man or stick figure. All right, so I'll click on the first frame here of my stick figure layer, and I will start with an ellipse tool and make my fill color black. This is the outline color here on your um, circle, so if you don't want an outline, um, you can change this number to zero. And then clicking and dragging to make a circle, you can hold shift and that keeps your circle perfectly proportional. And so that's sometimes nice, so you're not making ovals. And then I'm going to use the line tool to create the body, arms, and legs of our stick figure. So I'm going to attach some um, reference images in Google Classroom for you guys to check out. Oops. Oh, yeah. My uh, pencil width is still at five. But yeah, so I'll post the reference images in Google Classroom so you can see the... Uh, positions for the body of the running stick figure. But here I'm going to start him off the side and I'm just clicking, dragging, and then letting go and then just clicking right back down on the same spot and then pulling out a line to make a line or a leg with the line tool. And then I'm just going to click down, click again, out and down. So you're going to need basically two um, running positions. This is kind of like my open pose where the arms and legs are a little more spread out. Um, what's also really great about the, um, the pencil tool and the line tool here in WIC is that I can click, if I don't like the angles of any of these lines, I can click on my path cursor tool and I can go and take these points and move them around and bend them, right? So that's kind of a really nice thing that I can do um, in here that really makes making stick figure animations a little more easy than using our other software. So, um, so this is my open pose and then I'll go to my second frame here and what I'll actually do is I'm just going to copy this guy. So I'm going to copy this frame by hitting the copy button up in the top corner. Click here and then go paste to paste this guy. So pasting that frame 
right back down. All right, and then I can take my cursor tool, and because this cliff layer is locked, I'm going to click here and drag to select all the parts of my stick figure, and then I just want to move them over a little bit, almost so that the heads are almost touching the previous one. So now if I turn on onion skinning, then I can see that previous stick figure. So I, it'll show me the frame ahead and the frame, or the frame ahead and the frame behind. And if you want to expand these so you see more frames, you can pull and expand these so you can see more. All right, so this stick, second stick figure though, I'm gonna zoom in on him a little bit, um, and then I'm going to kind of tweak the way his arms and legs are angled. Because like I was saying, I want this guy to be more of a closed pose. So I'm gonna kind of just like shuffle his, his uh, arms and legs a little bit more into a closed position here. So I'll take this arm, maybe move it in like this. All right, and then um, maybe make this leg, actually maybe I'll go with this leg sticking out more, this second pose, and then bring this leg kind of up and forward more. So just kind of pull in on these lines a little bit and putting them in place. And you can bend lines too, as you can see right there. Um, but where was the end point of this? I want to take this one and kind of move it over, but there it is. Tricky getting that end point. I could zoom in a little further, but um, let's see. So that looks pretty good. This knee seems to be a little bit forward. But take your time to get these, uh, these frames, these two figure frames kind of the way you want them to be um, because you're just going to keep copying and pasting these couple of frames really. So take your time to get those pretty good and then it will pay off uh, later on. So like I said, kind of more of a closed pose uh, on this one and a little more open for this one. And then so what I'll do is just kind of go back to this first frame. I can hit copy and then go back to the third one and paste him in. And then I'm just going to take my cursor tool, um, click drag to make a box that goes around him, and I'm actually pulling him up to the front. Okay. So if you want to see back further, again, like I was saying, you can pull these um, the onion skin uh, kind of sliders on the side here and do that to see more of them. So I'm going to now take the second guy and copy and post them on the fourth guy. So copy paste, cursor tool, just going to click drag, and then move them so the heads are just about touching each other. All right, then back to this guy, copy them, paste them, arrow tool, going to go over and select everything, and then move him over here. Now he's going to be gearing up for his jump. Um, so and you have to do that click drag to select because otherwise each one of these individual pieces will be moved um, individually. All right, so Command Z, bring them back, and then um, let's give this a quick test play so you can see what we got going here. So it kind of looks like we got this guy kind of shuffling around, along, moving his arms, pumping his feet, trying to get into this jump. So now I'm at the sixth frame here. And this is where I'm going to actually have to draw a new stick figure. So I'm going to kind of bring his head down a little bit. All right, take my line tool again and click drag. Going to get this guy into kind of like a crouched position, ready to spring dive, maybe do a flip, and hopefully successfully make it to the other side. So that's kind of like the springboard position that I usually go with for this. And then I'll go next frame and I'm going to draw another guy a little more extended out. I could actually use this frame. Yeah, let's try and use that. So I can copy it and then I'll paste it. Again, take my cursor tool, click drag to select them and move them up. Now he's going to be airborne but I'm gonna take my path cursor tool and then just kind of move these angles and lines up and over just a little bit. 
So a little tricky to get that one clicked. There we go. All right, and then kind of straighten out these legs a little bit. So I'm gonna move this leg back, kind of pull this one way over here and get this guy going. All right, so that's a pretty good second frame there. And again, take your time, get the drawing positions kind of good. I mean, you can always go back and edit and change, but um, you know, the few key positions that you're gonna use is you're really only drawing you know, three or so actual positions, and then um, the rest is kind of just like tweaking those three positions. Um, so I'm going to take this guy and maybe start to rotate him just a little bit so he starts to get a little bit of a uh, trajectory here and maybe I'll take my path cursor and do a little more tweaking kind of like maybe we'll bring his knees in a little bit and drag these leg guys up a little bit and bring his feet with them um, maybe I'll even move his arms over to the front so I'll kind of take this part of his arm, stretch it over here. That's too long though. So I'm going to move this um, and kind of line these up. Cool. So maybe also what I could do is now at this point that he's jumped, I might actually draw in like his second leg again because that kind of went away in the crouched pose. So now he's going to have his two legs shown again. So when we see this, you can see him kind of like take a couple steps and then get into his jump. So we're getting pretty close now. I'm gonna take this frame, copy it one more time, paste it probably two more times before he gets back to the ground. And then, um, yeah, maybe I'll kind of make him level out here a little bit and I'll rotate him just a little bit more. Seems like he's got a good trajectory, but maybe I should, yeah. All right, so getting a little bit closer now. I'll probably copy this frame. Oh, I did, I thought that that didn't come over. <laughs> His foot didn't want to go with. Let's just click and drag that into place there. All right, so next, copy, paste. A lot of copy, paste action going on here. And we're about ready to make a landing. So you're gonna rotate, oops, I stretched them a little bit. Just wanna rotate a little bit more. Maybe I bring the second arm back into play. As he starts to make his approach. And then I think actually what I wanna go back and take is I'm going to take this, um, not the one where he was crouched ready to jump, but maybe this pose. Or actually, you know what? I am going to take, I think I want this one where he's crouched right before he takes off. That's going to be his same landing position. So I'm going to copy and paste that over here. And we're just about there. So um, I think I'm coming against the end of what I want to spend time wise in this video lesson but I think that that pretty much does it as far as he lands the jump and then it's just doing a couple more frames of animation with copying these frames from him running over here to make him run all the way across the stage in order to complete a loop basically so um, I can go ahead and do that real quick but that's pretty much the gist of it right and then like I said in the next part video um, I will get into adding the fire, but here, let's do this. I can do this really quick. Not much explanation needed, but we'll take them, we'll give a copy, go down here, we'll give a paste, and bring that one over here. So now he's back up into running position, and then I'll go to the second frame. Again, take my cursor tool, click drag over him, and then copy that frame, paste that frame, and drag it all the way down here. 
And then that's pretty much it. So the last thing you're gonna wanna do is this next frame, I'll click it, but then just expand that frame um, open. So that way this stick figure guy doesn't just stay on this last frame and then it just looks like he doesn't go all the way off the stage. So that's how you would complete this uh, stick figure running, jumping animation. So you could obviously have fun with the frames in the middle and maybe make them do a twist or a kick or something like that. But that gives you the idea of how to make a running stick figure jumping over a fire pit. Like I said, Fire Pit coming and part two video, so stay tuned.